Hey everyone, in that video I'll show how to set an admin panel on Jet. In our example we'll use Firestore, but you can set up an admin panel for pretty much any resource. First let's select an admin panel template and choose Firestore from the array of the integrations. Next we need to obtain a service token from the Service Accounts tab in our Firebase project. Click Generate new private key and upload that file and click Add resource. Now all of our Firebase data structure has been automatically detected by Jet. Jet also created all the correct components for all the documents in our Firestore. We can navigate through our Firestore collection in the Pages tab on the left and either select one or create a custom page where you can connect different components and data resources. When we click on the collection, it's rendered as a list and we can click and drill down into a specific record. Furthermore, we can customize our list view using the Columns tab. We can rearrange and disable and enable certain columns to tailor the view to our business needs. We can also render different columns differently. For that, click on the column name and set the right type from the drop-down. Jet automatically detects relations. The related columns are set as the link to record type. Once again, we click on the column and we can set what field from the related collection we want to display. Next, let's customize our record page. First of all, we can customize the view using containers. Let's start with a columns container and divide our page into three columns. Then just drag and drop the field into these columns. We can as well rearrange, delete or add new components onto the record page. To manage nested data, we can set it to be displayed as a tree of your normal fields. Just click display as fields and auto detect the structure. Additionally, we can customize the menu of our admin panel. For that, click the layout and branding tab and then configure menu. We can rename the title, delete or rearrange menu items as well as customize their icons. We can as well create new menu items like sections, pages and links. As an example, let's group some of the menu items into a new section. The last step is setting up permissions for our admin panel users. Let's go to the Teams page and create a new team. Let's call it a sales team. In Jet, teams are the groups of users with the same access rights. We can invite users to the team in the Members section. Next, we can set the higher level permissions and restrict the team's access to settings, billing, permission management and interface customization. In collection permissions, we can configure what level of access to different collections the team has. We can click all if we want to enable all the CRUD operations for the collection or set granular permissions for reading, updating and deleting certain collections. Now let's publish our app. We now can filter our data, go to individual records and edit data there, as well as create new ones. Also we can export our lists and perform bulk operations like mass editing or deleting. 